everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Esne Kato and today we are going to learn a new data structure. Dictionaries. Dictionaries are just like a bag that contains different items, where the data inside take the form of pairs of keys and values. For example, here inside our bag we have a phone, a lipstick and two socks, where the keys are the labels phone, lipstick and socks and the values are followed by two points. And when making dictionaries, we put all of this data inside brackets and separate each item with commas. And now, how do we ask Python to retrieve the value of socks for us? Really simple. We have to write the name of our dictionary followed by a square brackets. And inside of these square brackets, we write the key of the item that we are looking for. For example, we write bag and inside the square brackets, socks. After doing this, Python will return us the value 2 because it is saying that inside our bag dictionary there are two socks. Also, always remember to print your answer because if you don't, it won't show in your terminal. Another cool thing that we can do with dictionaries is to check whether a key is contained in a dictionary or not. And for this, we are going to use in. For example, let's ask Python if there is a phone in my back dictionary. It will return us a true because there is in fact one phone inside our back dictionary. However, if we ask Python if there is money in my bag, it will return a false because in fact there is no money in our dictionary. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Continue watching up to the end of the video because I'll share with you a ninja tip on how to count elements of a dictionary in an easy way. Without further ado, let's continue. Dictionaries are mutable, meaning that you can add, remove or edit entries. And this is really, really easy. Using our previous example of the back dictionary, the only thing that we are going to do is write the name of our dictionary, that in this case is back, follow by the key and value that we want to add to our back dictionary. So we write back square brackets money equals 10 and Python will add this key and value to our dictionary. If you decide to update an element inside of your dictionary, you only have to write that key again with a new value. So the way we do it is this bag, open parenthesis, lipstick equals three. And Python will just overwrite this new value on top of the old value. Removing an entry from your dictionary is even easier. You only have to write del followed by the name of your dictionary and inside the square brackets, the key that you want to erase. Now you know all the basics of dictionaries, but how can we loop through it? Let's use the items method. This method will return a tuple of key and value for each element inside of your dictionary. We start by writing for, followed by the key, comma, value, in, our dictionary that in this case is back with our that items method. Then we continue with two points. Here we are going to tell Python what we want to do. For example, here I want Python to print in the back we have the value of each item followed by the key of each element inside of our dictionary and python does exactly what i ask it for and now as i promised before i'm going to show you an easy way to count dictionaries with the get method we start by creating an empty dictionary and putting it inside accounts variable then we continue by creating a list of elements we want to count in my example i want to know how many red yellow and blue candy are inside of my candy bag then we write for each candy in my candy bag i want python to create a dictionary with the following keys that are red yellow and blue 
and assign a value to each of these keys depending on how many times they repeat. And for this, I'm going to tell Python to use the get method. This method returns the value of the item with the specified key and it has two parameters. The first one being the key name of the item that you want to return the value from and the second is the default value that you want to return if the specified key does not exist and we are going to add one so each time we see the same element we add another one and the process that python is going to follow is this one python will go to our first element in our list and is going to put it inside of our counts dictionary since we have seen it once it is going to give it a value of one so we are going to have red two points one then python will jump to the second element and since it's the first time that we have seen it it's going to give it a value of one then we go with blue and follows the same process when python sees that blue repeats again it is going to go to our dictionary counts and add one to our previous value and the same goes for all of the other elements. After we print our counts dictionary, we will get this answer. Let me know in the comments what do you think are the difference between dictionaries and lists. See you in the next video. Bye!